Hi everyone, welcome to Euron. And uh, in this topic, guys, in this lecture, guys, I'm going to talk about a roadmap for Python with DSA. So obviously we have Python with DSA and uh, before getting started with this particular batch, Python with DSA, I believe a uh, roadmap I should discuss with all of you. Uh, again, see guys, uh, roadmap is not something which should work or which is going to work as a thumb rule kind of things for all of you altogether because all of you are coming from a different background, uh, like a, from a different mindset and different perspective you guys have and a different learning trend you all had in your past. So, but yeah, I'm going to give you a overall roadmap. So which is going to help you out in terms of going through this entire batch, this entire course, and which will be going to help you out eventually in like, a, in terms of learning things in a better way. Now let's get started. So obviously we are going to start this batch from 5th of May and we will upload a video as per the schedule, but I'll try my best to upload our videos as soon as possible so that uh, if we have to complete something in a month of time maybe uh, you can just like uh, do it in a 15 days of time so I'll, I'll try to record in that way right i'll try to upload our videos in that way and anyhow we are connected over a whatsapp so obviously we can try to help each other and we can try to move ahead now uh, coming to this entire course and syllabus so this course is been designed by taking two major component the very first component you will be able to find out is a python component so Python component and then a second component, the major component is basically a DSA component that I'm going to discuss in this one. Now both in depth. So here I'm going to talk about a Python core. I'm not talking about a Python for data science because when I say Python for data science, it simply means that that I'll have to include a couple of more libraries over here. For example, a pandas, numpy, scikit, scipy, matplotlib, pi, uh, matplotlib, plotly, cufflinks, all these libraries I'll have to include over here. But I'm not doing it, right? I'm not doing it. I'm trying to discuss a Python core where everything from a Python core you will be able to find out inside a syllabus in very depth very detail plus when i'm going to talk about it so i'll talk less about a theory more about a practical more about a coding in a real time because this is how we all should because according to my experience in terms of teaching even as a techie when i write a code when i build a system which i'm doing it since last 11 year straightforward uh, while working with the different different companies or as an entrepreneur and even till today the system that you are able to see so <coughs> according to my experience when tech comes into a picture tech upskilling comes into a picture then we should not focus on going through a theory most of the time so what i always believe is if you have to learn faster if you have to learn better and if you have to build quicker so in that case you have to go ahead with a practical oriented maybe some of you will not align yourself with the, this particular philosophy where i'm saying no skip the theory part and then go through the practical but as per my experience as per my learning experience my experience in terms of building a things a real one not just something which runs in my local system, but something which has been used by uh, millions of people. So I'll, I'll always suggest that go with the practical approach, not with a theoretical approach. Those who are teaching you in terms of a theoretical, just, just like skip that particular part. Try to follow along with the practical approach. This is how we are going to discuss Python. And same I'm going to do with the DSA. Obviously in DSA, we have a lot of algorithms. So from every aspect of the algorithm, from sorting, from searching, starting from the basic, like a link list array, everything we are going to discuss. Plus we are going to cover a lot of problem statement, which is one of the popular and a famous problem statement. People are going to ask you when you will go for an interview with respect to a DSA. So even that part we are going to discuss in detailed way. So algorithm, obviously I'm going to discuss in terms of a theory by giving you a different, different kind of a analogy by talking about like those algorithms in terms of a stories. And then we will try to code it. We will try to write a Python code. And at the end of the day, we'll try to experiment it. We'll try to do it in a practical manner. This is how we all are supposed to even understand an algorithm. And believe me, whether you are a college student, whether you are preparing for a gate exam, or maybe you are trying to prepare for a 
like a companies, product based companies, this DSS section is going to help you out. And I believe once in a lifetime, we all are supposed to invest at least two to three months of time for our DSA. If you would like to work in our IT industry, once in a lifetime, I would say just explore once, uh, try to complete the algorithm. It's fine. I, I know that that you will not be able to remember those algorithm for the lifetime. But if you are able to understand it once, it will be easier for you to revise it whenever it is required. Right? It will be very, very easy, believe me. But at least once in a lifetime, you have to understand this DSA part. Doesn't matter in IT industry in which field you are going to work. Maybe you are going to work as a bed developer, maybe as an ops guy, maybe as a cybersecurity guy, maybe as a data scientist, maybe as a system admin, but whatever it is, right? But yeah, maybe as a SRE. So like you have to, and you have to understand a DSA at least once in a lifetime. And I think you just have to invest like one to two months of time, maybe not from here, maybe from somewhere else. But yeah, try to invest that much of time, try to understand the basic core DSA algorithm. And there are limited number of algorithm, 30 max to max, right? There are again, tons of algorithm. But I, what I'm trying to say over here is what I'm trying to make a point in this particular place is that just try to understand like a 25, 30. That's fine. Right, it is going to build you a base and it is going to help you out even in terms of understanding other algorithm. You don't have to go and explore like thousands of algorithms, solve thousands of problems, right? Because sometimes what happens is we are not ready for it, right? And we get overwhelmed by these many things at a time. So I'm not going to say that no, like go and like solve like 500 problem, a thousand problem. Yeah, it's good if you can do it, right? But Solving only a DSA problem should not be a purpose of life. My purpose of life is different. I have to get into a better job. I have to build up bigger things, a better things, maybe as a individual, maybe as an employee, maybe as an entrepreneur, whatever it is, right? Whatever position in which you are working as of now, or maybe you would like to work in a future. So this is where DSA comes into a picture. So I'll suggest to you that try to invest at least two to three months of time over here and two to three months of time over here, maybe one hour per day, to get started with one hour per day. So guys, discipline and consistency is a first and foremost thing, which I as a person, I as an individual have learned uh, down the line in these many years, that if you are disciplined enough, if you are consistent enough, you are not supposed to be a smartest person on this planet. It's completely fine. You are not supposed to be a topper in your class or in your batch or maybe in your like a, a best performer employee in your like a, among your colleagues. No, not at all. It's not required. The only thing which is required is a consistency, right? The only thing which is required is a discipline. So you have to get up at the same point of a time. You have to do a things at the same point of a time. And then you can do the rest of the things that you have in your life. And again, I'm not against enjoying a work life balance. I am completely like a fully support that particular part. But yeah, in a disciplined way, in a disciplined way, right? Give a priority, set a priority. If life is a priority for you, okay, give a priority to that and then try to learn a technology which is going to build your future, which is going to build your career. And then try to do something out of it. Learning should not be a goal. You are not learning something to give an exam. You are trying to learn something which will try to build your future, which will give you your bread and butter on a daily basis, which is going to help you out in terms of earning and growing in a life, right? A real life. So you should come out of that mindset in a very first place. And then you should start learning Python and a DSA. And I believe two to three months here, two to three months here is more than enough. And again, I'm not saying that uh, like you will be able to remember everything. No, and it's not even required. It's not even required. Right? Even I don't remember, I, I used to learn like a lot of things. I used to explore a lot of things, but it's a human brain. I'm not a robot. I will not be, I don't have a like uh, hard disk in my brain. Uh, so obviously I'll, I'll keep on forgetting things. I'll keep on revising things. I'll keep on trying to connect things in a better way, better way next time and then next time. So this is how you are supposed to go ahead with this. Python, if I'll talk about, so Python is one of the easiest language on this entire planet which can help you out to build everything and anything. Doesn't matter in which domain you are working, what business problem you are trying to solve, what app you are trying to build. Python is one of the best. I'm not saying that other programming language is bad or it's worst. No, they are good. But as compared to C, C++, Java, in terms of writing a code, in terms of understanding the code, in terms of building an app, in terms of library support, in terms of open source contribution and support from the market side, it's huge for Python. 
and especially if I'll talk about a data industry. So where data science, AI, big data, data analytics comes into a picture, Python is a dominating programming language, right? So over here, at least no one can touch. None, none of the programming language can touch. Not, neither C, C++ or maybe a JavaScript or maybe a Java. JavaScript is good in terms of building a web application, in terms of maybe building a mobile application. But if I'll talk about like data science, big data, AI and all those things, Python is a programming language that you should choose and it's it's very easy. Even a person who is like a working as a non-tech person, like a civil engineer or maybe maybe a, like a lawyer or maybe a chartered accountant, even they can learn Python. This is how easy Python programming language is. As simple as that. Okay. So coming to the roadmap part, I told you that how we have divided. So Python core and DSA. So these two portion, again, everything is mentioned inside the syllabus. Two to three months, two to three months, one hour per day. It's more than enough, right? Don't feel overwhelmed at any point of a time. It's completely fine. Initially, you will see some sort of a friction. Then the next part is that always try to use AI. I strongly advise and I will strongly suggest that always try to use AI. Yeah, here you can try to use Yuri. Maybe out there you can try to use OpenAI or maybe some other things. That's completely fine. Maybe Gemini, maybe a Claudia Sonnet, maybe a Popexlity. I'll keep on taking those names so that it will, it will fit inside your brain so that you will end up using it at some point of a time. But yeah, we are even giving you a Yuri ecosystem, so which is an AI, but not initially. So when you're trying to start with a Python or maybe start with anything, try to explore it by yourself first. Get some sort of a confidence, not 100% confidence, I would say, because that doesn't exist in reality. But yeah, try to get some sort of a confidence and then then start using AI. So when you are writing a code, when you are building up like a project, do a wipe coding. This is the meaning of wipe coding, right? Because if you're not using AI, then you are the dumbest person on this planet because now AI is doing a lot of things, but you will be able to use AI in a better and better way when you will build something, something real, right? When you will know the business use cases, when you are going to understand like a, as a, as a human being, so when you will be able to develop your entire, uh, I, I would say like a IQ label in a way where you will be able to think about something new, you will be able to feed those things to a AI and then AI is going to give you a response accordingly. So this is how you, I believe you all should use AI at the end of the day, but yeah, use AI, simple. So this is the roadmap, guys. Let's get started with it. Everything I have mentioned inside a syllabus, right? So what you should learn from a Python side and what you should learn from a DSA side. So this is something that we are going to do in a very, 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 very literally very detailed way. I have prepared this particular syllabus with all the easy topics, all the tough topics with everything, right? With everything I have prepared this entire uh, courses for you. So please try to go through it, try to follow it, spend two to three months of time and then done, right? Done for the lifetime. So whenever you will need, you will can come and then you can try to do a revision. So with that, guys, uh, thank you so much. This is all about a roadmap for Python with DSA. Hope all of you are going to like it. All of you are going to follow it. And then if you have any kind of a comment, feedback or suggestion, so feel free to uh, like uh, send me your feedback, your comments or what is your perspective, what you think about uh, Python and DSA and the AI that uh, uh, people are trying to include nowadays and even we are trying to include over here. And with that, thank you so much, everyone. Take care. See you again in my next lecture.